Step aside, lithium. There's a new battery in town. Scientists have found a way to successfully synthesize sodium as a viable replacement for lithium ion in batteries. With rare lithium used in most batteries becoming scarce, scientists are looking into sodium, which is abundant and can service large power facilities at a lower cost. The problem with sodium is that it explodes when exposed to water. Sodium ions in a battery also tend to stick to the anode, building up into a solid electrolyte interface that can grow too large and hamper charging ability. To make sodium functional, Purdue University scientists use ultrasonic dispersion to melt it into a purple liquid. Once cooled into a powder, it is suspended in hexane for even particle distribution. A few drops of the suspension liquid on cathode or anode electrodes allows a sodium ion battery to function with more stability and at a higher capacity. According to Purdue Assistant Professor of Chemical Engineering Vilas Pohl, adding in the sodium requires only minimal modifications to the battery production process, making it both promising and practical. Keep watching for more on batteries. Apple investigating swelling iPhone 8 batteries. Nearly half a dozen iPhone 8 Plus owners from around the world have seen their devices cracking and swelling. The swelling in these cases reportedly occurs when the iPhone 8 Plus's lithium-ion battery is charging. Apple says it is investigating the problem and is in possession of one of the damaged phones. Five iPhone 8 Plus owners in Canada, Greece, Japan, Taiwan, and Hong Kong have reported similar issues. According to Apple news site Mac Rumors, it's common for a small number of devices out of the millions made to have some battery issues. Last year, Samsung was forced to recall hundreds of their Galaxy Note 7 phones after users reported battery problems, some of which caused devices to combust. Samsung's Big Bang Theory the Galaxy Note 7 is probably Samsung's most famous model, not for its designer specs, but for its notorious tendency to spontaneously combust. After two recalls that cost the brand at least 5 billion US dollars, the South Korean phone giant has finally revealed where exactly it all went wrong. Samsung's Galaxy Note 7 was fitted with 3,500 milliampere lithium-ion batteries, which should have enough space to allow negative electrodes to remain straight. However, those manufactured by a company subsidiary were found to have deflected negative electrodes, which caused the batteries to overheat and explode. As a result, Samsung recalled and reissued all Galaxy Note 7 phones in September. Replacement batteries made by a Hong Kong-based affiliate were likewise defective. Welding burrs penetrated through the separator and insulation tape, causing negative electrodes to be in direct contact with the positive tab. In some cases, batteries were missing the insulation tape altogether. Both factors were linked to the phone overheating and potentially catching fire. Samsung ultimately canceled production of the smartphone model and has had to reassess existing safety measures. The company has announced the implementation of a new 8-point battery safety check that's meant to reassure consumers that safety is now a top priority. The right way to charge your phone. If your phone battery is draining too fast and barely holding up, that might be your fault. You've probably been charging it wrong this whole time. Modern smartphones use lithium-ion batteries that charge fast but also get used up quickly because of the sheer amount of mobile activity they power. People tend to drain their phone batteries before plugging them in overnight. Fortunately, most are equipped with chips that protect against overcharging. Still, it's unwise to leave a device plugged once its battery is full, since trickle charges can heat up the phone, stressing and wearing down the battery. Experts recommend charging the phone before it empties completely and not bringing it to a full charge. Plugging it in occasionally throughout the day ensures the battery retains its capacity longer. Batteries also despise both extreme heat and extreme cold, so make sure it's not exposed to either. Of course, they will conk out eventually, but it's always nice to prolong that lifespan and save a buck or two. This battery could charge your smartphone instantly. 
It takes a couple of hours to charge most smartphones, but new research from Cornell University could change all that. Typical battery design usually consists of a structure with cathode and anode on the ends and electrolyte in between. Electricity flows out the anode toward whatever it's powering, then back through the battery cathode, creating a circuit. But this design kind of turns that design on its head, and then some. New research from Cornell University details a battery design where all the parts intertwine in a 3D structure, surrounded by thousands of energy-storing nanopores. So how is this better than your traditional battery? The twisting, self-assembling gyro dial is dense with power and eliminates a lot of the weight in traditional batteries and allows for much quicker energy transfer, and that means much quicker charge times. Speaking in a Cornell News release, lead researcher Dr. Ulrich Weisner said the nanoscale design could see batteries being charged in seconds or even faster. Apple slowed down your iPhone, and here's why. Data from a benchmarking firm confirmed long-held suspicions that Apple has been intentionally slowing down older iPhones. The tech giant has confirmed as much, but claims it's not a conspiracy theory to get you to buy their newer models and is instead a battery issue. Lithium-ion batteries degrade over time and can only hold an 80% charge after 500 charge cycles. This, along with cold climate or a low charge, affects performance. Older iPhone models tend to draw more power than their batteries can handle, which can cause the device to suddenly and unexpectedly shut down. To prevent this, Apple's new iOS update throttles CPU speeds on older models in order to limit how much power is drawn from the battery. A number of users have worked around the issue by replacing their batteries, which reportedly restored the phones to their normal speed. Critics have slammed Apple for its lack of transparency, pointing out that users should have been informed of the issue and possible solutions. Most mistakenly believed they needed to upgrade to newer models, when really, a battery replacement would have sufficed. Tesla to build the world's largest battery Tesla has signed an agreement with the state government of South Australia, promising to build the world's largest lithium-ion battery there in just 100 days, or it's free of charge. Tesla will build a 100-megawatt battery at Hornsdale Wind Farm, near Jamestown in South Australia. The project will be 60% larger than battery systems in Southern California. The lithium-ion battery is comprised of several hundred power pack towers, which will store renewable energy generated by wind turbines. The battery could power 30,000 homes during peak usage hours, as well as provide backup power if there's a shortfall. The venture is part of Tesla's endeavors to promote the transition to sustainable energy. The company has previously released similar clean energy products, such as the Solar Roof, Solar City, and Gigafactory.